Welcome primary four with you is Miss Umayma Haini and today we are going to talk about lesson number four and concept number one and unit number four which is talking about breaking down the rock breaking down the rock okay and in the previous session we talked the mechanical and the chemical weathering after weathering the is process is called erosion okay do you remember what is erosion Yes, the erosion means moving the small pieces of the rock or the sand or the soil from one place to another place. Again, what is the erosion? The erosion means moving or transport or, uh, or uh, uh, transportation the small pieces of the rock or the sediment from one place to another. The sediment means small pieces of the rock, of the sand, uh, or uh, the soil from one place to another. Okay, and the erosion always happened by the wind, or by the water, or by the gravity, as we can see in this picture. So again, erosion means it is a process in which small pieces of the rock or the sand or uh, or the soil move from one place to another place by the wind by the water by the gravity okay and we must know that the sediment is a small mean, mean uh, any small solid pe uh, pieces or part particles of the rock or the sand or the soil okay let's start to know the action of the wind in of in the erosion how does the wind help in the erosion Okay, at the first we have two types of wind. We have gentle wind or weak wind or soft wind. The soft wind or the weak wind or the gentle wind can carry the small pieces of the sand or the sand grain for a short time or a long time. Excellent for a short time because it's very weak. So we have gentle wind can carry the sand grain from one place to another place for a short distance, for a short distance. Okay, after that, if we have strong wind or hurricanes, if, ha if we have a strong wind or hurricanes, hurricanes mean strong wind also, the hurricanes or the strong wind can carry the sand, the sand grain from one place to another place for a long distance, okay, because it's very strong. So we have two types of wind. We have gentle wind and the strong wind. The gentle wind can carry the sand for a short distance. What about the strong wind? The strong wind can carry the sand for a long distance, okay. What about the water? Let's know the action of the water in the erosion. How does the water help in the erosion? Or what is the function of the wind in the erosion? Okay, at the first we have three types of water. We have river and the floods. And we know that the water of the river and the floods at the first move at the top of the hill and after that move down. So during moving down, the water of the river and the floods can carry the sand, soil or rocks down the stream as we can see in the spectator. Okay, so again, we have river and floods. When the water of the river and the floods move down, it can carry the sand, soil and rocks down the stream. Okay, number two, the sea waves. Did you see the sea waves before? Yes, the sea waves, when the sea waves come, it can carry the sand from the sea, from the beach away from the beach okay so the sea waves can carry the sand away from the beach can pull the sand pull mean move the sand uh, toward it the sea waves when the sea waves come as we can see in picture number two that when the sea waves come it can carry the sand away from the beach away or pull the sand away from the beach Number three, the rain. If there is a strong rain, the rain can wash or take the soil away, as we can see in, in picture number three. So, how does the help? How does the water help in the in the in erosion? Number one, we have three types of water. We have river and the floods can carry the sand or the soil or the rock downstream. We have sea waves. The sea waves can pull the sand away away from the beach. We have rain and the rain can wash or take uh, or take the soil away, uh, uh, far away. Okay. Number three, the gravity. Do you remember the gravity? Yes, the gravity. It is the force that pulls the object down toward the Earth's surface. Okay. Again, what is the gravity? The gravity. It is the force that can pull pull the object or move the object down toward the Earth. 
Okay, so let's know the action of the gravity in the erosion or how does the gravity make erosion? How can the gravity move the small pieces of the rock or sand or the soil from one place to another place? After weathering, after the rock is broken down into very small pieces, the small pieces of the rock move down by the effect of the gravity. The gravity can move the small pieces of the rock down toward the Earth's surface at a mountain side, at the mountain side, okay? So again, when the small pieces of the rock, uh, uh, when the uh, uh, rock is sort uh, to uh, break down by the, uh, by the effect of the weathering, the small pieces of the rock move from one place to another place by the effect of the gravity. The gravity can pull the small pieces of the rock down toward the Earth's surface. Okay, so the gravity, it is the force that pulls the object toward the Earth's surface. And when the rock is broken down into very small pieces, the, the gravity can pull or move the small pieces of the rock down toward the Earth's surface, as we can see in this picture. After that, let's start to know what is the sedimentary rocks. The type of rock is called sedimentary sedimentary rock and from its name it's called sedimentary so it is coming from the sediment right after weathering the small pieces of the rock move from one place to another place by the wind by the water by the gravity right after that the wind or the water stop moving so the small pieces of the sediment the sediment or the small pieces of the rock will settle on the on a new place Right, and this is a deposition. So when the sediment settle in a new place, in a new place, and this is a deposition, the sediment collect with each other to form sedimentary rocks. So sedimentary rocks coming is coming from coming from the sediment. When the sediment settle in a new place, settle in a new place, this place may be desert, may be bottom of sea, may be bottom of ocean, may be lake, okay? When the sediment settle on, uh, in a new place, and this is the position the sediment collect with each other to form sedimentary rocks. So let's start to know how can the sedimentary rocks is formed. At the first, when the sediment settle in a new place, this place may be, for example, a desert. And in the desert, there is many plants and animals. So, when the sediment settle, settle on the desert, settle on the desert, the sediment will mix with the mud, with uh, and form many layers above the plants and the animals. So, the plants and the animals will be dead, right? The plants and the animal will be dead. And after many years, after many years, these layers of sediment and mud press down to form sedimentary rocks, as we can see in this picture. Another example, if the sediment settle on the bottom of ocean, we know that on the bottom of ocean there is many plants and animals, right? So when the sediment when the sediment settle on the bottom of the ocean, the sediment will mix with the mud and form many layers above the plants and the animals. So the plants and the animal will be dead. Excellent. Primary four will be dead. And after that, after many years, the the, this, uh, these uh, layers of, uh, of the sediment and the mud press down to form sedimentary rocks. So the sedimentary rocks are formed because of the sediment when the sediment mix with the mud and form with many layers above the plants and the animals. And this is happen in any place, in a new place like desert, like a uh, bottom of sea, like bottom of ocean, like lake. Okay. This is the sedimentary rocks as we can see in this picture. After that, the deposition. Do you remember what is the deposition? We know that when the rock is broken down into very small pieces, this is weathering. After that, the small pieces of the rock start to move by the wind or by the water or by the gravity, and this is the erosion. When the water or the wind stop moving, the small pieces of the rock or the sand or the soil settle in a new place, right? Or deposit in a new place, and this is the deposition. So the deposition, it is a process of laying down or setting or settle the sediment in a new place. Again, when the water 
and the wind stop moving the sw small pieces of the sand or the rock, which is the water or the wind, they carry them, which, uh, which is uh, the water or the, uh, or the uh, wind they carry them, that when the water and the wind stop moving, the, the sediment will settle, settle in a new place, and this is a deposition. So the deposition means it is the process of laying down or setting or settle the sediment in a new place. And this is the deposition. So again, when the water and the wind stop moving, the small pieces of the rock or the sand or the soil will settle in a new place, and this is the deposition. Okay, and the deposition happened by the wind or the water. Okay, so let's know the action of the water in the deposition, or what is the function of the water in the deposition. And the first, we have river. Okay, and the river, when the river, when the water of the river start to move, it can carry some sand. And after that, when the water of the river stop moving, it can deposit or settle sand bar. What is the meaning of sand bar? Sand bar means it is a river or the water of the river will settle the sand in the shape of line, in the shape of line along its bank or along the side, along the side of the of the river. We know that the river have any river have uh, two sides has two sides, right? Okay, so when the water of the river stop moving, the water carries sand, so it will settle or put or deposit the sand is the position in the shape of line, and this is called the sand bar along its bank or along its side. So again, number one, uh, the action of the water in the deposition. Number one, the river. We know that the water in the river starts to move, right? After that, when the water stops moving, the water carries some sand. So when the water stops moving, it will deposit or put the sand in the shape of line, and this is called sand bar. This is called sand bar. Okay, so the sand bar means it is a, a shape of uh, it is it is a shape of uh, the sand. Uh, it is the shape of sand in the shape of uh, uh, in the shape of line. Okay, so when uh, when the river puts the sand in the shape of line, this is called the sand bar. And the river uh, put or deposit the sand bar along its bank or along its side. Okay. Number two, also the water when the water of the river carry sediment, carry what? Carry sediment. After that, the water, uh, the river, or the river of the water, the water of the river meet the sea. Okay, when the water of the river meet the sea, the, the river uh, will deposit or put the sediment in the shape of triangle shape or fan shape, as we can see in this picture. Again, when the river meet the sea and the river carries the sediment, the river carries some sediment, and when the river meets the sea, the river will deposit the sediment in the shape of a fan or in the shape of a triangle, as we can see in this picture, and this is called delta, like the Nile Delta. So, what is the delta? This is the delta, as we can see in this picture. And the delta, it, it is a fan shape or triangle shape made of mud and sediment, and it is formed when, it, when the river meet the sea, when the river enter a large a body of water, like sea. Again, what is the delta? This is the delta as we can see in this picture, and this is a fan shaped or triangle shape made of mud and sediment, and it is formed when the river enter a large body of water like sea. Number two, the action of the wind in the deposition. The action of the wind, or how does the wind help in the deposition? At the first, we have two types of wind. We have a strong wind and weak wind. So let's start with the weak wind. Okay, from its name, it's a weak wind, okay? So it can carry small amount of sand or large amount, small amount. So when the sand, when the weak wind stop moving, it will deposit, it will deposit small amount of sand and form small sand dunes, small sand dunes. What is the meaning of sand dunes? Sand dunes, sand dunes it is a, a amount of a sand with a like which we can found it on the beach. This is a small sand dunes. This is a small sand dunes. So the sand dunes which we can found it on the beach, this is formed by the weak wind. So again, the weak wind, it is very weak, so it can carry small amount of sand. And when the weak wind stop moving, it will deposit small amount of sand and form small sand dunes like which we can found it on the beach. This is a small sand dunes. Okay, number two, the strong wind. 
and the strong wind can carry large amount of sand or small amount, large amount. So when the strong wind stop moving, it will deposit large amount of sand and form large sand dunes. Okay, it will deposit large sand dunes, like which we uh, which we found it on the west uh, in the western desert of Egypt, and also which we can found in Rabel Khali in Arabian Peninsula. Okay, so the western desert has uh, has uh, uh, large sand dunes, and also the Rabel Khali in Arabian Peninsula has large sand dunes, and it is formed by strong wind. The strong wind carries large amount of sand, so when the strong wind stop moving, it will deposit large amount of sand and form large sand dunes, like, like which we can found in, found it in the western desert in Egypt and Rabel Khali in Arabian Peninsula. Okay, this is the end of the session and thanks for listening. Have a nice day. Goodbye.